The ancient Jewish quarters of Cairo, Damascus, and Baghdad were once vibrant, bustling centers. Today, they are silent. I was uh, personally persecuted when I was in uh, Libya. My whole family uh, was driven out. As we were escaping from Tripoli, uh, the bus driver and the conductor was taking us to the airport, pulled over on the side of the road and attempted to burn the bus we were on. And we were actually rescued miraculously by two Christian British men. Here at the Darhai Nome Synagogue in North York, they're presenting the final speaker in their five-part series entitled The Jewish Exodus from Arab Lands. Featuring Gina Waldman, founder of the organization Jemena, which stands for Jews Indigenous to the Middle East and North Africa. Jemena is dedicated to preserve the culture and the traditions and to tell the story of the 850,000 Jews that were made refugees from nine Arab countries. Jews who had lived in my native Libya and the rest of the region for over 2,000 years. My great-grandmother and my grandmother both wore this traditional costume. They did not wear Western clothes. People who are involved in Jemena are from every Arab country in the Middle East and North Africa, from Morocco to Syria to Iraq, to Tunisia, and uh, because with the exception of Morocco, all of us have been either driven out or forced to flee. As a Libyan Jew who left in 1967, it's very important to uh, show what we went through and uh, to give us a voice. If you'd like to learn more about the over 850,000 Jewish refugees from the Middle East and North Africa, or if you'd like to share your own personal story, visit jimena.org. In North York, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zed News.